we were playing GWS and um, and we were winning by oh, last quarter. We were winning by heaps, uh, ninety odd points, hundred points. And I'd kicked. I think I kicked one or oh, four, po- maybe four or five points in a row, and I hadn't kicked a goal or something like that. And um, going well. I was in it. Yeah, <laughs> very <laughs> accurate. And the and the crowd was sort of. You know, they were swarming every time I went around it because they just knew I was butchering the footy. So they sort of wanted me to get it, only because we were that far in front. It was actually becoming a comedy thing. <laughs> anyway, the, 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 the ball was sort of in, in our back line and I was at full forward against a fella that I, I don't even know. So I, he would have been his first game potentially. It's probably Phil, I, da- Phil Davis probably. I remember, no, it wasn't <laughs> Phil Davis. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I got a, a kid that was sort of, I thought, I'm half a chance of taking a mark here. Anyway, the ball sort of got transitioned out. The runner said, you know, get off the ground. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I sort of was like, yeah, just in a minute. Just, <laughs> just let – Ross would have liked let, that. Let me, give you, let me give you the crowd what they want first. So they've switched the ball to the wing, rah, rah, and they've kicked it in. And I've out, taken a mark 15 metres out against against this fella and, and sort of got up. And De Boer was in the goal square by himself and I sort of could have probably given it to him, but I was like, ah – Give the crowd what they want. So they, they, you know, they, the crowd was sort of not knowing what was happening next. I'm 15 metres in front. I've kicked five points. And I've kicked the goal and sort of just put my hand up to go like, you know, it shouldn't have taken that long to kick a goal. And I've ran off. Anyway, get handed the phone. And I'm like, hello? Did you get the message? Uh, uh, what, a, what about? Getting off the ground. I said, uh, I did, yes. Why didn't you come? I said, oh, actually, I've, uh, you know, the ball was going to the wing. Oh, bullshit, the ball's going to the wing. Mate, you're waving to the crowd. You finally kick a goal in the last. We're 100 points. So you're playing against an 18-year-old and you wave to the crowd. The crowd doesn't pick the team yet. C-U-N-T. And slam that phone down. And I thought, well, I'm fucked next week. I'm not playing. <laughs> Luckily, I did. But... Um, yeah, he didn't like the wave to the crowd, and I didn't do it to, like, <laughs> celebrate it. I put my hand up to go, like, thank God. Thank God I've finally kicked one. So, <laughs> oh, good hell. Yeah. Ross, I remember Ross, it uh, sounds like every so Freo player we've ever spoken to here that played under him loved him. Um, but Betty, Betty, he told you what he thought. But <laughs> loved it. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I deserved it. Come off the ground. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, get off. I'll tell you what, though. He didn't like blokes that sort of, if the ball was coming in and you sort of duck and you, you put a short arm out and, you know, you, you, you don't, you're probably not as hard as you should have been. If you just go, I'm not as, I wasn't as hard as I should have been, it's no drama. It's ticked off. Don't do it again. You learn from that. The ones that go, oh, the sun was in my eyes and the ball bounced in a different direction, that's when you see his eyes. <laughs> like a lot of players Wasn't that didn't Duff work one that day? out. Didn't, didn't Paul Duffy oh, on the Yeah, he might have had one. But the ball was in his eyes. It, it, oh, sorry, it, sun was in his it, eyes. Um, yeah, just, you, you just, I just found out at an early stage in his coaching career that you just tell it how it is because the vision doesn't lie. Just let him know that if you weren't hard at the footy, well, you weren't hard at the footy, and then he sort of moved on. He, he didn't mind that sort of thing. It was when you sort of tried to... Duck and dive. Yeah, yeah, around what actually happened. But I'll whack into a story if you want me to. Absolutely. Please, yeah. So uh, we played Western Bulldogs in a pre-season game at Mandra, Rushton Park. Yes. When, and I had to play in front of the Hayden Ballantyne wing, which <laughs> to this day. <laughs> Beautiful place yeah, in the world. He's played like 13 games for him and he's got a wing named <laughs> after him. Um, anyway, uh, I, I went out there and um, at the end of the game, I didn't have the greatest game of all time. Mm. Key forward, two two handballs. Yep. Probably wasn't ideal. <laughs> so hopped on the hopped on the um hopped on the bus on the way back to Freo and and uh got home and rang Summer and I said, Look, mate, I'm it was the it was and I don't know if they still do it now, but it was the last preseason game and then you had a sort of a AFL had a buy and then you AFL round one. Yep. And the waffle round one started in the in the buy um in the week off. And I sort of said, Look, I think I need to go and play waffle um, to lay leather on boot because I didn't do that today. And he said, I'll leave it with me. I'll ask Ross and I'll get back to you. I said, oh, okay, no drama. So Monday I'll, I'll sort of roll out onto the training track and, and Ross goes, Kip, come over here, mate. And I'm like, oh, this isn't going to be great. So he someone tells me you want to play waffle this week. And I said, yeah, he goes, you should have the weekend off. I said, oh, did you watch the game, Ross? He's like, yeah. I said, I actually didn't lay – my boot didn't hit the footy. He's like, what do you mean? I said, I had two handballs. He said, you competed hard though, didn't you? I said, 
Yeah. He goes, don't worry about the possessions. I said, oh, okay. No dramas. He goes, mate, we know what you give us. He goes, you give us effort? You give us – and at this point I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing AFL footy, you know, that's, that's one attribute I've got's effort. And he goes, you just give us effort and you give us, oh, fuck, I can't think of the rest. <laughs> but I ended up playing against West Coast in round one, which was phenomenal. So, um, But, yeah, it was, it was quite funny how he set himself up for five positives. <laughs> I could only think of one. Did you like that? Well, you should see the full episode. They're out Wednesdays on YouTube or you can listen to them wherever you get your podcasts.